Hello, it's Joshua here. Welcome to another Python tutorial video. In my last video, I, I introduced uh, Python and I introduced how you can use Python packages. And we talked about how to install Python using VS Code and Anaconda. And in that video, I showed you a simple Hello World program, which is just printing Hello World into the terminal. In this video, I want to talk more about Python packages and how you can use a simple package to do another version of Hello World, which I call Hello World GUI. So we're just going to create a window, uh, a GUI window, and write Hello World there. I think it explains much better the idea of packages and how it uh, works uh, in Python. And so let's get right into it. So here I have my... Uh, I have my VS Code uh, window open, and uh, the a very simple way to just uh, use pi, uh, packages in your Python program is using the word import, right? So import tells Python that okay, I'm going to use a package that I, that is in the system. Well, it turns out that we also call packages uh, libraries. So you can hear people say, I, I use this library, I use that library. It's the same thing, right? So uh, the library or the package that we're going to use in this program is called uh, Kinta. You can see. Now, uh, good thing about VS Code here is that you have an autocomplete, and so it knows that I have this in my um, in my system already. Uh, the thing is, if I don't have it, then you're going to get an error. But fortunately, Kinta comes with um, it comes with the installation of Python, so you don't need to ex install additional uh, package in order to have this. So this will enable us to be able to um, create GUI windows and yeah, things like that. So what I'm going to show you now is just uh, how to create a simple Hello World in GUI and basically use that to explain how uh, libraries work. So the first thing we are going to do is uh, we're going to create uh, a window object. So in this case, uh, it's more like I want to create a window or a GUI window. So I would say that a window is equals to kintara.tk. So it turns out this is a, a syntax of how to do this. So every package or every library has the way to use it. So you have to actually look at the documentation of that library or that package to know how to use the uh, the package. So I would say uh, window dot title. Um, then I will put a name GUI. Let's just say GUI anyway. So I mean you can see this is kind of really self-explanatory. Uh, the person who wrote this um, package already says, okay, if you want to give a title to your window, just say window dot title. And we can say title here is more like a member function of the Kinta um, library or package. So, I mean, it's just that easy. And then what do we do? We can define a um, the geometry or the size of the window that we want. So we say uh, window dot geometry. Then uh, how do I do this? As I said, also, it depends on the, the library. You have to check out um, the uh, you have to check out the, the documentation of the library. So it turns out that if I want a, v a window that is 640 pixel by 420 pixel, all I just do is to type it there. I realize this is kind of small, so I kind of uh, want to increase this a little bit so you can see it more. Thank you. So what do we do next? I, there are many things that we can do, but I mean, now we just want to uh, display a message. So we ju I just say hello message equals to kintara.message. Yep. So in this case, you can see here, I mean, this is thanks to, um, this is thanks to VS Code. It shows us how we can actually do that. So because uh, we're going to use a window so we can provide the window object then the text equals to the text that we want to add, that we want to display in the window we just type it here let's say hello world I want to use a word sorry GUI 
right? Okay, and that's it. And so what do we do next? Uh, there are so many other things. We can actually run it this way, but we can still do any other, uh, many other things. Anyway, I, let me just run it this way and see what happens. So the last thing you do is you say window.main loop. This is to tell Python, okay, now I have created a window. I've sent my message there. Put the um, run uh, the loop or run the window. Then I save it. Then I can run this. Say Python hello world GUI, right? So what happens? Oh, it happens that uh, nothing shows up. Okay, so I guess I have to do one more thing here. Uh, I have to place the hello message in the particular place in, in the in the window. So I say hello message dot place. Um, these are like uh, arguments or the things you have to tell the um, the package or the library how to use how to display uh, the message. So I say x. That is to tell okay the what is the what is the x value of the position where we want the uh, the the message to appear. So relative x here is the relative to the size of the window. 0 0.5, let's call it 0 0.5 and relative size of y is a 0 0.5 also. So in this case it means that the the message is going to be at the center of the of the window. Then we can there's one more which we call anchor that is where does uh, where is the anchor of the text? So if we have to resize the window, where does the anchor uh, point is? Uh, where is the anchor point of the of the text? So I say kinta dot center. So uh, let's uh, let's run this again and see what happens. Oh, you can say now, hello world GUI. So I mean, this is just. I, I'm sure there's not so much hello world, hello world that uh, that uses Geo out there. And if you want to change whatever is there, you can always say uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Uh, I think I made a mistake there. Oh, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you if you actually like the video. I'm just trying to build a base here so that the other videos that I make after this has a reference point. You would if some people would say, oh, this is too simplistic." But the truth is, if you don't start from the simple part, then it's hard for you to grasp uh, the much more advanced part. So I won't have a, a a video of reference that I'll be able to say, "Okay, you can check this out and see um, how this works." So we're, there's still so much in, uh, that I'm gonna bring out in, in the in the future. But just take this as like the simple parts, the the very easy to grasp. Uh, parts of the of the language and to just also show you what you can achieve or what you can do with the program and be, just before I go I just want to show you one more program uh, that I wrote so turns out that you can this is a more advanced one but you can see this right this is a calculator, a very primitive calculator that manner. So I can say nine times nine equal, and this is all written in Python. And yeah, there's a bug there. I have to clean this, I guess. Yep. Minus 65 equals 22. Yes, yeah, somehow there's a bug in the in the Python code, but you can see I'm mean, creating a very simple calculator here using the, the Python language. 
So here, that's the end of the tutorial for real this time. And see you in the next one. In the next one, I'm going to go in. Um, I'm going to cover the whole spectrum of the basics of Python, from uh, strings, all the variables, uh, the variable types, up until functions, so that you can know how to, you know, do something like this, which is much more uh, involved. From here, you can. I mean, from here, you can go to here, and you can go to here. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.